Well, hello there everyone. Time for a brand new video at long last. I have got hold of these two a lovely 9th or 10th century axe heads. See them there. Proper spurs on, on them. Proper shape, proper length, proper steel for reenactment. This is EN45 and it's been heat treated so it doesn't shatter. It can snap or it can bend, but it can't shatter. This is proper reenactment stuff, this. I've got some lovely ash which I've just bought. There it is. Got no straight green bits on the outside, which is what I'm going to cut off all the way down. Anyway, that's enough of the chitter chatter. Let's get on with it, shall we? So there we go, two reenactment ready Viking Age axes. The hafts are ash, I haven't sanded them but I have burnished them which is the same thing as flattening the grain. They are now coated with linseed oil and they've got a little bit of slime on them from various trees that they were sort of perched on during the you know, final 
filming of this video. Oak wedge is in the top, the heads have been secured onto the hafts with epoxy and then oak wedge is in the top as you saw. These are not coming off. It's been a while since I've done any of these and I did do some about two and a half years ago before we moved. I asked the people I made them for a little while ago how their axe is doing. They haven't budged. I mean, that was two and a half years ago and they do eastern style Viking reenactment which is far more aggressive than the western style combat which is the group I'm involved with which does western style but yes. So these are not coming off. These will be on my Etsy store uh, very soon. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Maxim Armories for supplying these heads. I did buy them, of course, so I'm fully plugging them because these things are great. And a huge thank you as well to Cedar Blot for let me use your song during the video. That's, I, I really do appreciate that. Go and check them out. All the links are down below in the description for their band camp, their Instagram, etc. And YouTube channel as well. Don't forget that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more Viking related and inspired items coming soon. I've got a chair to do next, a Lund chair, if you want to look that up. Um, it'll be something like that, it won't be exactly like the one that was found, although they only found the back piece. But that'll be the next project, so look out for that coming soon, I'm probably going to start it next week. Thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, see you soon.